<laughs> Nobu, sorry. Okay, well, I guess that's where we're opening the episode off. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of I Murder My Own Horse here on the channel. <laughs> I wanted to press start and my fat finger hit triangle. I didn't mean to abuse my body. Oh, God, no. Yeah, collections. I got it. I get all the collections and everything. Okay. Samurai, stances, ghost. Ah, screw ghost. I don't want no ghost. I want samurai goodness. I want that sweet deflect arrows. Parry incoming projectiles while blocking. Yes, never not this. Always get this. Gain moderate resolve by using parry or a perfect parry. Parrying an unblockable spear attack. Oh. Hold on. So there's unblockable spear attacks. Let's just see the, the video on that one again. Okay. What about this? Perfect parry counterattacks have a 20% chance to terrify nearby enemies. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. But uh, we also maybe wanted to get something like this, like uh, Wind of Charms or maybe Wind of the Inari. Uh, wind of Resolve. Wind of Resolve. No, Wind of Health might be really good. Wind of Health might be like super good, bro. Gain moderate resolve by using a parry or a perfect parry. Uh, yeah, I guess it's cool. I mean, unyielding sword parry, parry an unblockable attack from Mongols. Uh, attack marked by blue lighting can be parried. Attacked. Yeah, I mean, that, that'd be good, but I mean, spears are also like dodgy things. Right? Resolve parry, gain moderate resolve. Yeah, that'd be good too. But I think I'll go with the, uh, the health shrine one for now. And then our next point will be, uh, our next point will be for the parries. Because we're, we're close to a, another point, so... Uh, I slashed my horse, he ran away, as he should have, because I'm a terrible goddamn person. And I will apologize to him by giving him only the best stuff. So we got Winds of Health, Winds of Vanity, Undiscovered, uh, Sashimono Banners. Oh, wicked, so when we get the Traveler's Attire, we can, like, upgrade all this stuff. Uh, let's go Winds of Health. For now, just so we can get, like, another little bit of health in case there's a close one nearby, you know? I have a feeling we've missed, like, six of these things, at least. At least, bro. Because I'm an idiot, and I probably just walked by them being like, Who needs to go to the water? I don't need water. Water's for fishes. I don't need no fishy waters. Yo, where was that? Where was that? Where was that? Where was that? Who said help? Oh, this is, this is an ambush. This is... No, but wait here, bud. This is an ambush. You're not hurt, liar. I'm sorry. They made me do it. <laughs> yeah, guess what? Nobu, out of the way, bud. Out of the way, Nobu. I'll break this guy's guard and just destroy him. And then, Kiot! Oh, no, he's got a spear. Ah, shit. <laughs> he's, I'm like, ah, he's got a spear. I thought he had a sword. But I'm an idiot. This guy's got a sword, though. Oh, finish this guy off quick. Break his resolve. There we go. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. You want some? You want some? Come on. Nailed it. Come on. Perfect, Perry. Oh, I guess it. I guess it doesn't automatically do the counter attack, but still. Perfect, Perry. That's how we do. That's how we do. Did they kill this man? Yeah, they killed this man. He deserved it. Now, I'm not saying he had it coming, but maybe he had it coming. All right, come on, Nobu. We got no time for these punk asses trying to trick us, being dickheads like pieces of shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This boy is majestic, and I just need maybe a little leather. <laughs> just a little leather, maybe. I don't think I can get leather from these guys, though. You still know nothing from them. Okay. Never killing a deer again. That's it. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. It's over. The game's over. We're done. This lamppost is probably marking the path to a, uh, a delicious little watery hole that will refill my spirits. But yeah, I'm having a lot of, a lot of good, a lot of good times, a lot of good times with this here game. Uh, it's been the first open world game I've picked up in a long while. I've just been, uh, burnt out on them, as you know. Oh, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. I'll just do, uh, just do a little bit of this. How about this? And then we'll jump off here. 
Boom. And we'll go... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are those not bad guys? Are you not bad guys? Or are you monks? Did I actually save people for once? Hey, are you are you a good guy or a bad guy? Holy shit, they're good people. I saved the good people for once. They're finally not dead. I finally did it. <laughs> Which I've, I've been burnt out, just pretty burnt out on, you know, just open world games for a long, long time. And uh, I don't know, I just, it was just something about Ghost of Tsushima that I, that I saw and was like, you know what? I can, I can take this. I can take this on. Especially for the channel. You know, I want to do the channel. I was torn whether or not I would stream it or do it for the channel. And then uh, my, some of my friends said they would uh, like to see episodes of it because they don't really watch the streams. They watch episodes of the channel. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll do that. I can do that. I can do that for sure. So here we go. Here's a hot spring. Carved mountain hot spring. Look at this. And I'll have to uh, remember to take off my little uh, screen here. I'm just gonna check check real quick for like flowers or something up in this little cubby hole cove. No, no, no flowers up in the cubby cove. What about what about up here that looks like it's perfectly made for climbing? There's got to be something up here. Not even like a flower or nothing. Come on, man. Don't don't make a thing that's climbable and then just not climb it. Like, jeez. Put could have put a flower up there or something. You know, for my for my troubles. Just a little bit of flowers for your troubles, sir. Oh, oh buttocks. But y'all don't see the buttocks. Y'all just see me reflecting on creature comforts or Coton Con. Let's go creature comforts. Why not? <sighs> the only thing I'm missing is a strong drink. A bowl of miso. Some sleep. A woman. <laughs> yeah. All he needs right now is just a friggin' day off. <laughs> but there's no time for a day off. Oh, buttocks! There is no time for a day off for this man. There's also a shrine up here, so let's visit. Let's pay, uh, let's pay some respect to the coming. This deer almost just Red Dead Redemption 2'd me! I don't know if you guys remember seeing those clips of the, uh, the Plum Blossom Shrine. Oh, I like that name. I like that name a lot. Of the clips from Red Dead Redemption 2 where, like, that lady would just be like, eh, Sir, can you help? My horse just plum done up and died on me. And then this deer just comes out of nowhere and kicks her friggin' teeth in. She dies. It's so hilarious every time. Oh, it's funny every time. My horse done up and died on me. Gadoosh! Oh. Man, if I even knew what to begin searching for that, I'd put it on screen right now. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what to search for that. It's like Red Dead Redemption 2. Deer kills woman. I don't know, probably. In the Komatsu Prefecture. Okay. Alright, so... There's this burning down, but I'm sure if we go here... We can scope around a little bit. And we jump across. Jump across. Is there any more flowery doos? A little bit of flowery doos. Yeah. Squeeze through. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. You would? What is that? Is that bamboo down there? And flowers? Oh, dog. Yes. Oh. oh. That was worth the little detour. Flower and some bamboo. I'll take it all day, every day. Man, this guy's like, how are these not breaking? He's got the the weight of a samurai, but the the like density of what was that? All right, well, whatever. I mean, I made it, so I'm not gonna complain. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's there's something down there. See how it wants me? Oh, I guess it's a, that, that's if we fall. Okay, if we fall, there's a way back up. Okay. I was going to say, there's is there something down there, like collectibles? Some uh, pickables, maybe? You know me, I love me some pickables, you guys. Now, what... What kami would this be? Komatsu. I guess once we get so far out of range, it'll be like, you're no longer in any prefecture. You're so high up, you're just in Komatsu. Hey. 
There we go. Some supplies. Is this a poop house? Is that what that is? Is that a poop house? For when people come and make all the trip all the way up here, they're like, Oh, man! I have to poo so bad! Alright, let's honor the shrine. I will bow. Bow and honor the shrine. Yo, there's something up there, though. See that collectible? See that pickable? Yeah, I see that pickable. I'm gonna jump across. I'm gonna get it. It's a flower. I think that peak is actually part of a different story plot. Charm of Kagutsuchi. Charm of the Kami of Fire. Yes, we want to see what that does. Uh, but we're going to go to our open slot, though. What? Minor charm. Oh, is it a major charm? Oh, god damn it. Deal bonus damage while at 50% health or less. That's pretty good, but I guess we need minor charms? How do we get minor charms? Because this is a major charm. All right, fine. I thought, we, I thought they were just all charms. I thought we just got charms no matter what. Kyo, let's grab, 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 Jin, Jin. Oh boy, you make me scared for my life. Don't do that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is a uh, a bit of a story for somebody else. There is nothing left for me here. My family is dead. My home is burnt. My hope is lost. To any who read this, keep Genzo of Komatsu Forge in your prayers. Farewell. Oh, so close. Oh. Damn, so close. All right, so we've still got uh, our winds of health up. I'm pretty sure, but hey, that's fine. Look at that. We just descended the mountain right quick. My eye is itchy. Pardon. One sec. Jesus, out of nowhere, it was just like sharp stinging pain. Sharp stinging pain in my eye hole. Right on my delicious eye meat. Good boy. Was where the pain was happening. So let's see if we can't find one more, uh, one more little uh, hot spring, huh? And then we'll go about com uh, continuing our quests. I think we've got some rumors too, like rumor quests that we could go about on and stuff. But uh, I don't know. Oh, hold on. Is it asking me to go down here now? All right. Sorry, Nobu. We'll ask you to teleport later, bud. But this is the fastest way down. Yeah, Nobu, Nobu's a good boy. He can teleport. Look at that. Watch. Bam. Always from off screen. Always from off screen because he knows what's up. He knows if we can't technically see it, it doesn't actually happen. So, for all we know, he jumped. But, you know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Nobu, what have you done? Nobu, you sick son of a bitch. This boy is crazy. Is that the deers making that noise? I see a flower here, though. Is that the deer making that noise, or what was that? This also looks like a new town as well. Is that some Mongols? Standoff, bring it. I challenge you, Mr. Shieldman. Oh, look at me. My name is Bort Shieldman. <laughs> You're not faster than me, dude. You'll never be faster than me. The moment you make a move, I'll let you step forward like twice to give you a prayer. Boop. I'm better than you at your job, too. No arrows? Jesus Christ. You're an archer. Why do you not have more than one arrow? Actually, technically, you have zero arrows. You have negative arrows. Where, are you, where even are we? The Heavenly Strike? Oh. Oh, Komatsu Forge. All right. And then this is a, the other side of honor. Tales of Tsushima, minor legend increase. I mean, we can go to Komatsu Forge. I mean, I guess this is the tale of getting that strike. This is the... That peak is... um. That peak is the part of this quest, I believe. The Heavenly Strike. That I do know. I don't know much about the game, but I, I do know a couple things. Damn, Nobu. You crazy, bro. Running all the way the hell over here to eat some grass on the edge of a cliff. You damn crazy. Is there a quick way down? Yeah, there's a quick way down right here. And even if it's not, it's my quick way down. 
Hi. Oh shit, I broke my legs. Always goddamn breaking my legs. That's fine. Is that metal? No, linen. Damn it. Is this town gonna give me some metal or what? Because I want to upgrade my sword again. I want to do it. I want to upgrade my sword. I mean, this is... Oh, Mongol territory, huh? All right. Well, doesn't matter to me. I'll kill them all. I'll take back everything. Look at all the birds. I was going to call them crows for a second, but I don't think they're crows. So if this is indeed a forge, then there should be a lot of supplies and a lot of iron around here. Metal and everything should be around here. Except all I'm getting is linen and supplies. All right. Oh, what's that? More supplies? I'll take them. There was also something there I just ran past. Better be iron. No, nope, more supplies. I'll take that too. I, I'm glad we get bundles of like 15, 20, you know, 17, 15. All the numbers in between those of supplies rather than just like, oh, here's two supplies. Oh, here's three supplies. Wow, I can't believe you found my one stash of supply. It's not even plural. I can't even say supplies. It's not plural. It's just supply. Some linens. That's it. That's all that was in here was linens. Come on, man. Come on, dog. You're a forge. Where's all the metal? I need it for my sword. Yo, this boy's taking me to the hot spring, I bet. That's fine. The wind's guiding me, too. So we'll just, uh... Oh, is that linens? Hi, I'm here to take your linens. I heard that maybe, like, you like linens, like, maybe... You know, there's supplies on that that up there. Uh, I mean, I, I doubt I could jump from here to there, but... I mean, maybe I could if I ran. And I was like, Kiot! <sighs> See? You just need the power of Kiot. That's all you need. The power of Kiot compels you. <laughs> Holy shit, I jumped, up a, uh, I jumped up a whole level. I jumped up a whole level. How many supplies is that? Five! Came out here for five supplies. Come on. I don't get a bed for more than ten. Or an iron. Or linen. Jesus Christ, the linens. I have so many linens. Is that an iron? Is that an iron? Yo, is that iron? What is this? That looks like I could grab it, but I guess I can't. I thought it was iron for a second. I thought it was little nugs of iron ore. You know, some good good. That we could smelt and refine to get delicious. Is that more supplies or something in that boat there? That could be maybe some iron. Or just linen. You know. As you do. Because the one thing I need is the one thing they'll never give me. Eh. Look at this place being all sparked up. Still burning from the siege. Alright, no iron in here, it looks like. Knowing me, I've probably passed 18 pieces of iron. And you're all like, yeah, the iron, uh, the iron. And I'm like, whatever. Linen. You're like, no wonder you don't get any iron, you're an idiot. You're dumb. And you miss it all the time. And then I'm sitting here going, da -de -da -de -da -de -da. I have linens and supplies. That'll make me feel real nice, but I need iron, not supplies. I'm sure there's a merchant somewhere who will trade things for things. Kunai? Oh man, I'm already full on kunai, dog. I don't need those. Have I searched up here yet? I'm pretty sure I have. Oh no, not this place. Not this place. Scavenging is like half this game. That's the thing with open world games. Scavenging's like half of what you need to do usually. Okay, 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 please. Jin, just... When I push away from the ladder, that's your cue to get the fuck away from the ladder, dog. Oh, iron must be around here. You can't have a forge like this without iron. Come on. 
Is there no iron? Just supplies? There's not a single nug of iron? Oh my lord. Not a single nug of iron was to be had near that forge. God damn it. I'm about to start following this bird. I found literally almost every resource but the one I'm looking for. Because this game hates me. It doesn't want me to have strong swords. It wants me to be weak. And nine shot guys instead of three shotting them. Oh, maybe there's some iron back here. Oh, leather though. I think I've literally now found every resource but iron. At least every archetype of resource that is but iron. Put my sword away, Jin. Come on. There we go. Oh my god, it looks like iron, but it's linen. God, I thought that was iron there for a second. That little supplies on the ground. All right. Time to crawl through. Grab these supplies, dog. I love how 18 supplies are just chilling out in the out in the open, but then somebody stashed eight underneath the thing. It's like, man, why wouldn't you stash the 17? Oh, more more supplies. I was going to say, if we do this, stuff gets highlighted easier, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a little bit. Not much. Damn, there is... For a forge, for a place called... What was it? Komaeda Forge or something? It's got not a lot of iron or anything. I was expecting, like, mad fat stacks of iron in here or something. <clears throat> Just because... Maybe they hid some iron, like, between these buildings. Oh, no. Six supplies, though. Oh, maybe there's iron in here. In the attic. Supplies, supplies, supplies. Five supplies. Fifteen supplies. Then another fifteen. Oh, no. Seven. And then some linens. Yay! Linens! I love linens. Linens are my favorite. Oh, we can go up even more. All right. Let's go up. Let's go up more. Supplies. Was there anything else there? Oh yeah, there's there's more supplies. Hold on, can I can I jump? There we go. There's more supplies. Can I grab the ladder from here? Oh, I can. I can jump and grab ladders. Damn, man, this place has been rich with everything but the thing I need. Jesus. Well, from here. Oh, look at that. More supplies. They just hide in supplies. Dong dong. I tried to ding the bell. Hold on, let's see if I can ding the bell. It looks like I'm avoiding dinging the bell. I cannot ding the bell. My sword went right through it. So there should be a steamy bath up here somewhere, right? If I can, uh, maybe I can use my bow to uh, scope out where some steamy bathness is. Oh, that's dope. Switch camera side. I wish I knew that earlier. All right, come on, Jin, Jin use ladder, please. Use ladder. Use ladder gin. Thank you. Now we're going to go out on this balcony to see if there's anything that we could jump to. Maybe that has, you know, supplies. Or an easier, faster way down than the, than the ladders. Yo, is that a man? Oh, that is a man, but he's dead. I thought it was standing up. I'm like, that's a weird way to stand. Because he's not standing. He's dead on the ground, which is why it would be a very weird way to stand. All right, I've pilfered enough. Time to go get this booty call. You know, because we're going to get naked. And we're calling for the booty. I'm sure you guys are just rife. Rife with wanting to see the gin booty. But you can't see it. Gotta cut it out. Hey now. Hey now. Gin, gin. There we go, bud. There we go. So, oh, there's a flower up there. Hold on. So I'm pretty sure if I do this right. Yeah, it wants me to climb up all the way there, but there's a flower up there. So I'm pretty sure this mill, if we climb up to the top of the mill. I also said Komaeda Forge, but it's not Komaeda Forge. It's Katsu Forge. Let's be honest. I'm just an idiot who doesn't know names. 
because I've heard them once. And then I'm like, it was a Kameda. Supplies. This place looks like it should have some goddamn iron. What are these people, iron deficient? I mean, their blood's probably so thin. When they get cut, they probably just bleed out because they got an iron deficiency. Jesus Christ. All they needed is a little bit of iron. Oh, yo, it's linens. It's linens. I'm like, oh, yo, what's that? Are they stashing their iron out where people can't get it? No, they're stashing their linens where people can't get it. All right, there we go. Now drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down. There we go. Look at that. More. Oh, thank freaking God. Iron. Oh, bless. Blessed be the man. Steel. Oh, yes. Blessed be the man who complains and then gets what he wanted. Blessed be me. That's all I'm trying to say is bless me. For I am the boy, the smart boy, the strong boy, the good boy. I forget what, I forget the lyrics to that song entirely. I have some good leather though. Some good snaggables, some good pickables. What a good boy, what a smart boy, what a strong boy. I don't know that's a bare naked ladies theme, like bare naked ladies song. But uh, I don't remember which one, honestly. Yo, is that iron? Are they hiding their iron up on their roof? They are. Oh my God, steel supplies. Yes, thank you. I hurt myself a little bit though. That's fine. Because there's a flower up here that we can grab. A nabable, grabable. There we go. And then can I actually climb up this way? Is this a way to climb? I don't think so, but I'm going to do it anyway. Ow, I hit the floor like twice. Oh no, we'll heal up the floor. We can get a resolve back later. We can just walk off a broken ankle. That is the way of the samurai after all. So, we're trying to find this health upgrade. And I'm pretty sure it wants me to go up over here. Let's see, hold on. I'm just going to make sure. That's a glint. I need to go get the glint first in case it's, you know, good. Uh, I do know that there's a way to... Oh, no, that's kunai. Damn it, I was already there. I thought it was linens. I do know there's a way if we unlock the dodge roll uh, through the dodge tree and not the parry tree, that if we press circle when we hit the ground... We will negate damage from a certain height. It doesn't work for great falls, but it works for most falls that would do like, you know, a chunk of change on you. And that is on my radar. It's probably going to be the only thing I go for that path initially. I don't really care much about the ghost abilities. I mean, they're really cool, but... I mean, yeah, they, it just seems like, oh, huh, look, I threw a sticky bomb. The guy's dead now. Haha. <laughs> I'd rather just be better at having a sword and a bow. I'd rather be straight up Ronin than Ghost. Because let's face it, if you're just going for the cheap, easy thing, like assassinates and using your sticky bombs and your kunais to always just make sure that the, the fight's in your favor, it's like, yeah. But then you're going to miss out on some of that really, really cool, like, sword play, you know? Where exactly are we? Oh, there's a, an undiscovered location over there, too. But this bird's trying to show us a way to a hot spring, so we're going to snag this. And then I'll get the hot spring, and then before I go, I'll teleport back to uh, Komatsu Forge. If I even can. I don't know if I can fast travel there. It says it's Mongol territory, but I don't know if that means it's still, like, I have to free it somehow first or not. Pretty sure I had to go up here on this log. No. Oh, she's a. Oh, she's a. Oh, geez. Oh, gosh. Oh, jolly yarn there. So, where's this? Uh... Man, Jesus. It's taking me. A... This bird is taking me so far away. Unless I completely, like, missed the bird. I'm, I, think I, I think I actually went past where the bird was trying to tell me to go, you guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because if I try and fall down there, I'll die. 
Oh no, right here. Okay. I was like, that's weird. I'm like, why is it gonna try and lead me to a place where I can't do anything with? There wasn't even like a collectible. No boo. I always think I can just run to places like this and it's like, no, you're so far away, dude. That's fine. I assume it's just up this hill. Oh no, there's another Kami gate. Jesus. Kami gate and hot springs? Dueling up? Like, always be dueling? Next to each other all the time? Yo, ho, wait, whoa, whoa, that was a cow. Does that drop leather? Oh no, that was a deer. I thought it was a cow. Damn it, I'm just be killing deer. I'm just killing deer again. Oh, are there Mongols here? Oh, yo, what up? There is a, uh... There's a bad, bad happening here, for sure. You, you lack an item necessarily completely shrine. Okay, then, never mind. I will just go to try and find the hot spring. The winding mountain. We must need, like, a hook shot or something, then. Zelda rules. Oh, Jesus. I went around the wrong side. Of course I did. Yo, is this a, uh... Some Mongol camp? <clears throat> Fallen outpost. Mongol territory. Alright. I don't care. I'll go through here and take everything. Including their lives. Yo, if they have iron and steel here, I'll be their best friend. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That, literally, that guy was like just standing right outside. Damn! This guy's got mad armor. Hold on, I need to switch to water stance for this boy. I need to break his shield. I need to target him first, though. Hold on, I need to get, I need to get around this corner. Oh, I dodged him, but I didn't. There we go, break his shield. Oh, there's a guy on the roof, huh? Can I uh, maybe jump on the roof? No. Oh, no, there we go. Well, and that's how you take out that guy. Just like that. Just a headshot with a bop. Are there more guys? Oh, there are. But I don't see any more dudes that could uh, potentially give me any issue. Oh, there, wait, no, there's that guy down there. Those two guys down there. Could I maybe headshot this guy? No, I think they're wearing helmets. Either way, let's just try and... Uh... There we go. Now I'm out of arrows. That's fine, though. We'll take him on. We'll get our sword out. I can now block arrows incoming, too, which is pretty nice. I wish I could stand off. I wish. Deflected your arrow, punk. Damn, okay, they got, they got a volley of arrows coming. Yeah, they, oh, they want to go. They want to go, huh? All right, this guy wants to go. Mongol leader. There we go. I forgot I could stab. <laughs> ah, the stabbing's fun. Oh, I can't change it once I've locked it in. Run through. Oh, yeah, there's some more ammo. Oh, yeah, shield. Gotta break that shield real quick. I got an achievement called Open for Business. What does that mean? Stab. Oh, Jesus. All right, hold on. These guys, you know what? Oh, ammo. There we go. Eight times arrow. Oh, friggin'. I just thought I got him right in, like, the window. The window of his helmet. All right, I need to get out of here. Take some more ammo upgrades. I'm trying to find the archers. Where'd they go? Oh, he went up there, huh? Wait, I assassinated him? I, but I just ran up to the man. Yo, all right, where are you at? Is that you there? Done. Oh, perfect. Cut down, leader killed. Kill or observe more leaders to unlock Wind Stance 7. 
I guess they say observe more leaders because sometimes it happens where, you know, you have to look at a leader in a, in a camp so it gives you points. The people's hope. Maximum health increased. Yes! It's not what we wanted, but we got it. Choose a new ghost weapon. Oh, yeah, I guess we can use them to upgrade these, but we have to. So wind chime. Uh, sticky bomb is good. Smoke bomb. To unleash a dense cloud of smoke at your feet, causing enemies to lose sight of you. That's pretty good. Uh, L2 and R2 to throw an explosive that damages and staggers nearby enemies. That's pretty cool. I want that. I want to be able to throw an explosive boy. If I pack the Mongols' black powder into a clay pot, I can set it aflame and throw it as a weapon. All right. And then we have a, uh, I believe we have another point, don't we? We level up to, don't we get a point? Oh, I thought we were getting a point. Damn it. Ranged weapon swapping. Hold L2 and use the thing to swap between your ranged weapons. Oh, okay. All right, I get you. I get it. I get it. Oh, so I can go for Black Powder Bomb or this. Isn't there more archers? I feel like there was more archers. Like, at least, like, two more. Unless I killed them? Four leather. I'm liking this place, so this place had the good good. Is this not a door? I guess it's not a door. I don't know why I would think that the bedroom would have a door. That was really, really bad of me. Oh, is that iron? Yes. Mongol camps have everything I need. Yes, daddy. Kunai full. I suppose I could have also used my kunai, but who cares? Iron. Beautiful. Wonderful. I'll take it. Beautiful. Thank you. Upgrade to the everythings. What is this in here? A lantern. A lantern that's somehow still glowing. Can't take those swords for scrap iron? Come on, man. Either way, is that more iron? Oh, yes. I mean, the Mongols know how to live. They know how to use their iron. I guess it would make sense that villages would have more supplies than anything. So, where is this, uh... Where's this wind trying to lead me? Back up and through? All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was cool. That was great. That's just what I needed. <laughs> Need to be reminded that gravity is a thing. All right, so where's the wind taking me here? Oh, Jesus Christ, I do that every time. Press X to make my horse giddy up or jump. Yeah, I know I lack a, a shrine climb item. I'm just coming through with my horse so I can get the health shrine. Oh, is it down in here? No, it's not that. But there is a flower there, though. A little rose. In the little nestled alcove where it would be safe from the majority of everything, usually. Oh, boy. Can you, can you hop down here, Nobu? Nobu, don't die. Mm, he died. Nobu died. I killed Nobu. I'm always abusing my horse. Jesus, man. Wind of health. I didn't think it would be this far away. I never do, though. That's, like, my curse. I never think that they're going to be this far away. And I keep just jumping places. Why can't I just have a mecha horse that doesn't need to have limbs that shatter when I jump? So that way I don't feel like I'm abusing my best friend here. And, yeah, I know I keep swiping on the thing, but that's just to keep my focus on this last little bit of health. Yo, deer? Cool. I'm just going to scare them. <laughs> Ooh, a camp. With flowers around it. Is that some leather I can take? Oh, no. That's a burial site. Oh, that's a burial camp. All right. Oh, hey. What up? Oh, that guy died. That guy's also going to die. Right here. Oh, wait, are these Mongols versus bandits? Yeah, it's Mongols versus bandits. Damn, he hit me with that spike. Oh, yeah, go bandit! Go bandit! Go! Yeah, and I'll take you out now. I'll kill you. Aha! I have cleaned the battlefield of spoils. Aha. 
And this guy's gonna have like what? Kunai. Damn it! It's always Kunai. But I found the I found the hot spring. Thankfully. Thank God. Let's bathe and reflect, shall we? Bathe and reflect. Bathe and reflect. <laughs> Every day, that's what we're doing, because we bathe and reflect, and you also don't get to see that butt. No butts for y'all. Alright, so reflect on my father or Lady Masako. Let's go Lady Masako. Let's reflect on her, because she's fresh. She's new. Mother used to take us to Omi Lake with Lady Masako and her children. We played in the water, while Mother and Masako traded funny stories over tea. Oh, so she was kind of like a grandmother figure. Almost. Yeah, that health bar's getting swole. Like his boutiques. Alright, but we're going to end it here. Actually, ending it here would not be the thing I want to do. I want to set this as my marker. Oh, look at all that fog of war that came out. Nice. I want to set this as my marker. And then I want to go to the Golden Temple. Because I want to upgrade our sword once more. Before we end the episode. Before I forget. Because I'm thinking this will be the last episode I record tonight. And then I'll record some more tomorrow. Record a few tonight. Record a few tomorrow. Probably stream tomorrow as well. Even though for you guys, tomorrow's not tomorrow tomorrow. You know, it's still today for me. <laughs> and then we can go to next tip. Next tip. Paint me new pictures, painting man. Paint me all the lovely pictures of the wind. Cool. Let's find the uh, swordsmith. Oh, hey, wait, can I, uh, get some more? I do have more gifts. Is there more gifts? The gift altar? There's nothing here at the gift altar. I thought the icon said it. there was. I feel like a fool for believing that perhaps maybe I was due more gifts. Wait, what's this guy? Lord Sakai, come oh, on, that's, that's, that's Masako. Okay. So that is the armorer. And so the, the weaponsmith is over here. Who looks, that looks like armor, honestly. But still, hello, swordsmith, the Sakai Katana, 300 out of 696, 25 out of 31, and 5 out of 16, purchase. Right, gotta hold that in. Bam, kill enemies faster. That's what I like. No, I'm not, I'm not upgrading the, the assassin one. But we could upgrade my armor here as well. We do have enough, I'm pretty sure. I work on all kinds of armor. Uh, the Sakai clan armor, let's do that. Or the samurai clan armor. I said Sakai. Uh, yeah, let's do that. This will also Much increase our health by a major amount too. Wow, we, we only really need more supplies and then we can have this thing up to massive increase to health. Like, Oh wait, if we get... Okay, so hold on. If we get up to this level, we get the mask with it. Oh, that's pretty dope. And it's got a bigger Kabuto. Alright, that's pretty cool. So that's when... Uh, that... Or maybe we can't see this one yet. No, 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 no. It, it, it changes a little bit, I think. Yeah, it changes a little bit. But yeah, so this is our last upgrade where we get like the whole Shogun material piece and everything. So that's our armor now. Thank you. Yeah, we got shoulder pads. I love it. We look like a real samurai. Uh, yeah, and I'll probably recolor this. I'll probably visit the the merchant on the between the episodes. But thank you all for joining me on this episode of Ghost of Tsushima here on the channel. And until next time, please. Take care, everybody.